Hello everyone. This is my book, Barosima, 22 Weeks with Divinity. It is my account of how Sai Baba brought me so close to his heart. I have recorded here things that I saw, experienced, that were beyond what my mind could ever, ever grasp. And I was so early in my journey with Sai Baba, but it was like he wanted me to go down the worm wormhole of what he can provide for us, what he can show us if we will allow him to in a very, very quick way. And from what I understand now, almost 10 years later, I think Baba did that because he knew I would be writing other books about him. And he would allow me to experience things to share as an author, an experienced author, that will allow others to understand the magnitude, the beauty of the avatar Sai Baba. From my perspective, someone who's mainly coming out of love for Baba, and, and this is what um, the results are, this kind of a book. So let's open up Barosama, 22 Weeks with Divinity. Barosa Adhikari is a woman that literally died and brought, Baba brought back to life. She recalls what he did on the other side, how he came, and it's described here in this book. And um, her life is filled with his miracles now. And this book is dedicated to, in 2009, I met Barosama in India. There, Satya Sai Baba blessed this manuscript with the booty. This book is dedicated to the Puna avatar. And I have, um, if you look at my YouTube videos, there is a video that I share about Prashanti Neelium. I think I call it the Great Divine Play that shows some photographs from when Baba blessed this manuscript and blessed me and with the booty in my hair. And I know those things are because he knew I would be writing. He, he set it up that I would be writing about him um, and beings who he has been working so strongly through like a Barosa mom. And so once again, as I did with another book of mine, Sri Shirdi Sai Baba of South San Francisco, I'm just going to kind of flip through. This book has some amazing photographs as well. Actually, here is the death certificate of Barosa Ma, so that you can know that uh, she was clinically dead, pronounced clinically dead and placed on the floor in the hospital in India um, when she saw how Baba came and and uh, put an arc of fire, she said. He, he ex this arc of fire came out of his mouth, yellow flame, yellowish flame, into her mouth while she was dead and uh, ended up, uh, with, that was one of the experiences that she had. My hand's shaking here because I have, <clears throat> recording this on the iPad, trying to get a little steadier. Uh, but this is one of the things that was amazing. A jumping jasmine flower. It happened every morning. A Shiva Lingam was manifested by Baba on the altar in Barosama's home in Kathmandu. And every morning after uh, flowers are placed on the altar for praise of Baba, just to, as offering love, a uh, jasmine flower would find its way out of the other flowers into... Um, uh, onto the top of that manifest of lingam. I have some color photographs that I hope that I can um, maybe insert um, after this um, just to give you an idea. I took these photographs while I was in Kathmandu and look at the flowers how they're lying and now that the jasmine flowers jumped on top they're alive with energy. Baba. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Um, uh, Baba uh, writes on a sh Baba literally writes messages on what's called the divine facts there and it comes you see that cookie sheet in this photograph that Rameshji Barosama's husband is transcribing the message that came he writes in the turmeric that he manifested and the writing is so beautifully clear and perfect uh, it's just amazing here is a color photograph of the divine facts in Kathmandu the story of how this came about is within the book Barosama very interesting thing. So these are just a few things. Let me just flip through some more. Some of the earlier diagrams that, um, not diagrams, but uh, images that I have here, um, like Baba writing when Barosma came to Salt Lake City uh, to visit uh, her daughter. Um, he wrote on bananas, and you see, you can see the writing there. 
anyone who came, a lot of times they would receive these messages on bananas. We began to call it the, the banana. banana facts. And here is an actual photograph of it in Salt Lake City where it was placed just on a table. And here is another color photograph of what you saw earlier in the book. And a close-up of some English that was written. I heard it came in Chinese as well. I've never seen that. But here is a collection of them because there were hundreds of these. So the miracles that Baba did, such as these ohms on fruit, when people um, uh, offer them, were so varied. I mean, it's just no way to explain it. Miracles from physical healings to when Barossa Ma visited my home in Salt Lake City, the booty appeared on a computer that I would later write books about Baba on, my first book about Baba, to the booty in all kinds of forms, manifested profusely. I call it Baba Land, a beautiful, beautiful existence that is like, how is it possible? How is it possible that these things happen? But they were happening right in the United States, many of them uh, that are shared in this book. So what I want to say at this time is simply this. Barossa Ma, 22 Weeks with the Divinity, is a 22-week count of mine of how, starting in the United States, Baba makes his omnipresence known. He makes it known because of the purity of love that Barossa Ma has for him. Many, many things happen around her. Um, this book is available uh, to you through Amazon uh, from my website, Um It's an e-book all kinds of ways it's available to you. And so I ask the question, spiritually, what do we really, really know? When you delve into the rich ocean of love that is Sai Baba, we realize we know so little. So I hope you enjoy um, exploring maybe the subject a bit more. If this has intrigued your interest, piqued your interest, and um, thank you for listening.